God bless America. Oh. Four, five, six, seven. 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 Welcome everybody to Nickel City X-Wing. My name is Greg and we have got a big match for you. Two draft league matches tonight between Team Fox and Team NJO. This one is Colfax and Wrath. Let's get it started representing Team Fox. <laughs> it's Colfax flying the rebellion and representing the NJO. It's Wrath with Scum. We are ready to go. Get your bets in. This is a chance engagement. Here we go. Gamut. Hold one bank. Will coordinate Sarasu. Give Sarasu focus. Someone's got to take a stress. It's going to be Gamut. Ten of little three four. Special Wednesday edition of NCX. Braylon, a little bit of a safety lock there. Sarasu, four straight. And a barrel roll. Three straight for Old T, Old Tarek. Going to barrel roll as well. It is Wednesday. Although GSP isn't streaming. I thought GSP would be streaming right now. The big four forward from Gengar. Going to grab a couple locks here. GSP just went live. Okay, well, that makes more sense. Beneth K. Rao, the old one bank. We'll do a coordinate. Give Hera a lock. And that is a Talon roll for Hera. We're going back to Dials in turn two. I cannot feel Foxy. I'm impervious to choosing sides. I am yay but a passenger on this and every contest we have here. Big on Jay says, just based on the intro and nostalgia for WCW and the NGAO book series. Yeah, it's a nice little 
There it is. I am excited. The, the shirts. Hopefully, I get those soon. If you're in Canada, you apparently get the shirts super fast. You can buy your team shirt. Hey, if I make five bucks on it, I make five bucks on it. You know. So jousting bee wings is a bad idea for anybody. I'm excited to see if Wrath can uh can uh, avoid that. Colfax does have a lot of trick shots on Braylon and uh, I believe Ten as well and Hera. So engaging through these asteroids is also a bad idea. Come on, action. You know that's not how you spell nickels. Ben Rao makes Dengar sad. Eventually, you're going to have to shoot Dengar. And a lot of one agility ships can burn down pretty fast. Especially with a plasma torpedo. It would not be unheard of for a plasma torpedo to take half a B-Wing. I don't know if we'll get combat this turn. It's possible. But get your bets in. Right now the bets are 6 to 1 for Colfax. 6 to 1. There's Weston. Representing the NJO. New, new, new Jedi Order. Colfax is the road roll here. Give it one forward. And coordinate. If old T the focus. And no, two banks. Braylon. Bell roll. Oh my god. That's so much closer than I want to. Now Tarek might think about boosting in, but I definitely would not because that could set up a Braylon. I'm 
shot and you still got Fen moving after you to start taking away. That is Sarasu. Taking a focus. And now backing up. Arrow the one bank. about what to do with Hera. Doesn't seem like there's a ton to do with her. Could barrel roll to the right, try to line up the obstruction for next turn. It's always an option. And finally, Dengar. So three bank, still out of range. And Dengar is going to take a barrel roll. One to one at the end of round two. Bring on round three. End phase. Do we get a gamut trigger here? Yep. Ultrock will get to keep their focus with gamut key. Music sounds like a cartoon rabbit is waking up to a sunrise. It's what they were going for, I'm sure. Colfax flying B wings. Never thought I'd see the day. We are headed to turn three. Get your bets in. It looks like there's going to be combat starting this round. I actually really love where Dengar is. Big fan. I also really like having B 
E-Wings, you don't really need focuses. <laughs> like, both these ships can mod without the use of focuses, which really hampers what old T can do. And it goes to Colfax. Over to modulators on Dengar. Gamut Key, the one bank, will coordinate. A barrel roll to Old T. Oh, hopefully it didn't go straight, because that would be. Raylan, oh, one forward. Will focus. Barrel roll. Barrel roll fails, but you still get stress. Ten will try the lock. Just end up taking it on the asteroid. Nothing in range. Let's see these fives. Old Rock will take a stress and roll for a damage here. And will take a damage. And take the focus. Sersu will pick up a lock. I love what's happening here. Do what these sixes do. Hera, the two bank, will go for a lock. Has Sarasu, has old T. Gonna lock old T, that's gonna help both of these V wings. Then the two bank. And coordinate Hera focus. No. Dengar. And he's going to take a couple locks here. One into Braylon. One into Hera. Now there is a non-zero chance. for the big shots. Here come the sixes. Venice K. Rao. He's gonna shoot Sarasu. Two dice. Two hits. There's you two evades. Three evades with the reroll. Disrespectful. Arasandula, same shot. Three dice this time. And you probably just leave that, right? Yeah. 
Dengar. And Rao will stress to say no spending tokens for Dengar here. I would still fire the Plasma Torp onto Braylon. I would 100% focus fire on Braylon here because you got a lot of really good shots. What's the question here? Yes. If you do that ship cannot spend tokens to modify desire dice while it performs an attack. It Gar Saxon is removing a token. That's not spending a token. It like you can't spend your calculates. That's the only thing you can't spend right now. And removes the stress from Braylon with Gar Saxon. Amazing. For a four dice primary shot here. Can't spend the calculate. And Braylon takes three. Ben, what's up? Old Tarak, range one into Braylon. Old T does have Fearless. I love Fearless. It's probably my favorite upgrade. For V1, Braylon doesn't have rerolls. Oh, do you go full send? I think you go full send. If you get Braylon out here, this would be the best thing. Yeah, it's absolutely dirty versus Beams. Not going to spend the focus. I don't like that. Only two now from Braylon. All right. Sarasu needs all four hits. Absolutely needs this. Proton Torpedo. For two credits so far, going to have to spend... Oh, it's only three. Does Braylon find paint? No! Braylon's dead. Just alpha it off. Primary into old T here. Gonna spend the stress for three hits. Two evades, that is half points. That is the last shot. One point each. NJO opens a seven to five lead. And Dengar will take three strains. So Desi was right. More like overtune strain you later. Excellent first engagement there. I mean, getting Braylon off the field. A plus, would recommend. But now is when it gets really tricky. Mm. 
Wrath was super aggressive with old T. <clears throat> Just yeeting oneself over the debris. There is a stress there. It's just behind old T. Him. The captain of NJO says Chaff is definitely coming. Just try to avoid getting completely obliterated. There are a fuck ton of locks out there, so. Let's bring up Dengar style. Oh, the sloops to the left. How much would you love a sloop right right now? Sloop right would be clutch, but you're not going to get it. Although, at I-6, there's just a good chance that it ends up bumping Fenrau, so you probably don't dial that in. You're not worried about them shooting Dengar, although maybe you should be. Maybe you just bite the bullet and go into Dengar. I wonder if now is one of those turns you'd actually rather win the road roll to go first. Being able to put Dengar in a good spot without being blocked might be the best way to go here. Let's see if we do get that chaff launch. I assume we will. Seems like the perfect time. Turn four. All right, Jeff Cloud away. You also roll for a stress. No stress. Damn it. One banks. 
Go for that coordinate again. Does get Sarasu. Sarasu will focus. And Gamut's going to coordinate that or pass that stress over as well. Ten, just the one forward. Ten going to take a lock. Uh, put it on Sarasu. Sarasu, two banks. Or sorry, one bank. It does clear stress. I imagine Sarasu will go for a lock. And we'll put that lock onto Harrison Dula. Hold to rock. I think you just take a lock here so you open the one hard for next turn. I'm going to put that on here. Dengar does not... Won't suffer the chaff cloud again since started on the chaff cloud. So, yeah, why not? It, it, he, he doesn't suffer the consequences of it because he started on it. All of his locks would have broken at that point. So he's starting kind of fresh. Uh, I don't think it counts when you start on it. Because I think it's if you go over it while you're doing it. But Puts a lock on Fen, R3. That gets jammed. And then we'll get a second lock with R3. I'm going to go ahead and put it on 10 none. Then one forward. Air one bank. <clears throat> Dengar, first shot. Going to So Dengar's gonna remove the target lock to roll an additional dice since Fen Rao uses ability. Primary attack, so two dice for ten none. For one. That's evaded. Fenner out. Imagine Sarasu, but you do have a free shot into Dengar. Range zero into Dengar, so 2v1. Dengar won't be able to respond to that with typical Dengar things. One hit, Dengar should roll one die. And evaded. Dengar can re-roll the defense with Sarasu. That's correct. Hera. I am... I imagine this is going to be into Sarasu. Yep, into Sarasu. 
3v3. Frankies, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you joining us. Number one, Sarasu evades. We go to the fives. I don't think. Sarasu, second Proton Tour. No time like the present. Proton Torpedo. Into Hera Syndulla. It is double modded. Good start. Sends a lock. That is going to be two hits, two crits. Hera gets that evade. Three shields. Ten nub now. Primary shot into Sarasu. So 3v3 to start here. Two hits. Fire control system reroll. Two hit hits and a crit. Sarasu rolling three. No mods except for Sarasu's reroll. Sarasu reroll. Oh, so close to that third evade, but that's a shield off Sarasu. I assume Ten's going to spend the lock and do a bonus shot. Sink laser cannon. Hit, hit crit. Sarasu, one evade. Hit crit into Sarasu. Dragoon Kane Guitar, and thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see what that crit was. It is a damage sensor array. One point each. Eight to eight. At the end of turn four as we head into turn five. And this is where B-Wings are really good with their ability to just move slow. 10 can just one bank. Feel good about it. I don't even know what you do with Dengar right now. Part of me is like just eat the 4K and eat it. Or actually, maybe you could fit the sloop in. And just go over the asteroid. Take your lumps. He's shown willingness to go over obstacles. I mean, I think they are desperate for a win. But... <laughs> Not sure that's what the foot's cost this so. though. For a five thousand bit rate, thank my Bit rate worries me a little bit right now. I 
I would love nothing more than Fox and NJO to just get in huge fights. Just absolute banger fights. I mean, actual fist fights would be pretty cool. What if that was our Gen Con? Just all the teams fighting each other. Five rounds of Aces High. Oh, my God. So we played uh, Aces High at Adepticon. And this one dude was, like, super into it. And we were just, like, trying to teach people. He was so into it. And it was, like, we were at the point where, like, we're not. We're doing this to get this guy tickets. And a C-3PO oil bath. Oh, my God. Hashtag not my fault. Oh, I love that. I love hashtag not my fault. It's not my fault. That should be a redeem. That Han Solo, it's not my fault, should be a redeem. Someone put that in Discord to remind me. Colfax wins the here this is going to be a Leia turn here gamut one straight focus rotate Ten, the two bank. Look at ten go. So is this just so that Fen Rao can Just a barrel roll, no link. Maybe Hera the four forward. Old Terak. No room to boost. We'll just focus. Sarasu, whoof. Five forward, and that actually clears. Hera, four forward. We'll lock. We'll send that over on Gamut Key. And now we'll just bump. So, K. 
could take a red focus. Probably better to not. You are taking at least one shot. And we'll take that red focus. Vengar will two turn and just go ahead and eat the rock. And it will cost the double damage, but I didn't see a lot of options. Spend the lock on the three eyes. Weapon systems officer will give the lock back. It's a neat card. Not played a lot. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Well, maybe elusive one? It's still blank. So that's a plasma torp. That's insta half points. Old truck. That is two on Fenner out. Gamut gonna reach out, try to touch Hera here. This is gonna be your classic 2v2. Gamut does have the focus. Hit crit. And that is half on Hera. One each for the center. We had to turn six. It's a 12 to 10 game for Wrath. So we're definitely getting a 4K here, right? Because the left loop does nothing for you.
wonder if Colfax kind of regrets the early Leia trigger. Oh, that's right. Dengar could just rotate. So you could, like, one forward, rotate, focus rotate, target lock rotate even. That's interesting. Usually, it's kind of like Ray a little bit where you want to keep it. I wonder if we get the turnaround from 10 with a Talon. <clears throat> Gamut seems to be in a bad spot. Terra coming in. We can probably get uh, Old T in some good spots. Terra doesn't have any shields left, so the Plasma Torp is kind of useless in that situation. Only to deny range bonus. Bank for Gamut. And yeah, just to focus, all you can do. Ooh, 10 nub. And uh, possibly going for a bail roll into a target lock. Easy way to get double mods. Thinking about being locked. I never have any idea what Sherman's talking about. Sersu! 3k. I think we all knew that was coming. Ultarock. You have room to boost. Oh, you know what might even be better? It's a nice little barrel roll. Try to block Fen Rao. Combo that to the focus, you still get a nice little banger. Era. Three forward. Oof. Just gonna focus there. And then around. Three straight. You just focus here. You kind of got a banger on old T and old T won't get Concordia. I didn't mean to play rabbit fucking. Wait, can Fender unlock? Oh, he has a target computer. Yeah, sure can. You focus, rotate for shots. Turns out the answer is no.
Terra Range 1 in the gamut key. Classic 4v2. Not bad start. Gonna spin the lock. Hit crit crit. One evade, two crits. That's a dead gamut. That is two more points. We have a tie game. Range one into old T. Gonna spend the lock. And passing Harrow's focus for three hits. Old T, you gotta spend that. Old T probably didn't want to, but had to. And now. I think you, I think, all right, so Ben takes a stress, and that is going to prompt old T to take the range one, still think maybe you fire into Hera, although I get it, oh, it is big money, four hits! Ben Rao. Ben Rao is dead. And that might take the center out of contention here. No, 10 just gets a piece of range two for one point. <laughs> and Dengar has to take a strain because he's focused and didn't spend it. So it's free strain. Okay, entering turn seven, it is 17 to 13 for Team NJO. Ten Nub did collect a midpoint there for Fox, just the very edge. ISO, what is going on, baby? How's the fam? Everything good with you? Good year. Are you going to Gen Con? I probably already asked this, but I have my memories for shit. All things are Fenrao. Oh, man. Can you imagine? Oh, you have to stay home? Bummer. So the Leia Carrier's down. That means 10 is facing the wrong direction. Hera is locked by Old T. I imagine Old T is going to try and move fast to get these range 1 bangers. Ten Nub first to move. Too hard. I actually kind of like that. You still get the, the spend stress as a focus, so it's kind of like being focused. Old T. Oh, 
Oh, the boost fits. The bank boost fits. Beautiful by old T. Sarasu, three forward. We'll grab and evade. Gengar, two cards. One hard left. The left is white. So two locks, one to ten, one to Hera. I believe Dengar's Plasma Torp's really great on ten num right now. Hera too hard. Does she have room to barrel roll? I don't know. Can't really risk the barrel roll, right? Because then you're just sitting in front of a rock. I might actually consider barrel rolling to the left. Setting up for next turn because you got 10. As long as 10 doesn't die, you got 10 to get that center point. And I don't see... Listen, we should all go to Montreal and then have a party... at all the strip clubs. And I'll link this into a lock on a Dengar. I've heard that Montreal has great strip clubs. And we should all go play X-Wing at the strip club. And it's only six hours away from me by car. Dengar. I think... All right, so gonna remove the old T target lock. For an extra die primary attack, Dengar has a target lock. Yes. I have three hits and a crit into Hera. Hera's dead. That's an additional three points. Hera still gets to shoot, so there's points to be made here. Iso with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Plasma Torp. Turn the lock. Hit crit. Stays hit crit. So shield. Hit crit, and it's a fuel leak. That is half points on Dengar. Thank you so much, Iso. Ulti, 10 num, range one. Spending for four. And that is insta half points on 10 num. And that two points could actually be super vital here. There's two, no shot, I don't think. Yeah, just out. 10 nub. Primary into Dengar 3v2. Spends the stress for two hits. Dengar takes one. And Notorious and Dengar gets the return shot. Notorious. And 
going to get rid of the Dengar lock to roll a fourth. So we'll get one reroll with Notorious. And 10 just takes one. One point for each. And that is a 23 to 17 victory for NJO. Congratulations, NJO. Wrath dedicates that victory to Pim. He he didn't hear you. I put I put you on now. If you wanna if you wanna dedicate it. Here's to you, Pim. Sweet ass revenge. The NJO Revenge Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing pop punk back. Uh, me six chatting. Me six chatting. <laughs>